for today's video. Well, today's video is gonna be a really fun one. And that is passing out Halloween pumpkins to all of the animals that call my jungle home. Hey, come on, come on, come on, let's go! You can see he's using his retractable claws to hold onto it. We've got fruits, vegetables, monkey biscuits. Open it up and see what's inside. Oh my goodness! <laughs> What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. It's a windy day here in South Florida. As you guys can see, the palm trees and everything is going absolutely insane. And for today's video, well, today's video is gonna be a really fun one. It's one that we do pretty much seasonally. And that is passing out Halloween pumpkins to all of the animals that call my jungle home. We're gonna be carving these pumpkins. We're gonna be carving some of them. We're gonna be leaving some of them whole. And the ones that we carve, we're gonna be filling them up with meat for the cats. We're gonna be filling up with fruits for the monkeys. It's gonna be so much fun to see all the different animals' reactions. We're gonna be passing out pumpkins to jaguars and leopards and monkeys and lemurs and all kinds of crazy stuff so if that sounds like something you guys want to watch well guys you are in the right place and we're gonna hop right into that you guys thought we were hopping into today's video but we're not hopping into it yet because we got to talk about today's sponsor and before we go any further with today's video, well, I just want to give a special thank you to Huge Casino for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys know me, you know I love to go to the casino. Well, I haven't really told you guys that, but if you guys know me on a personal level, then you know I love going to the casino. But unfortunately, I don't get to do that enough nowadays because, you know, I'm here. I'm taking care of leopards. I'm taking care of lemurs. I'm taking care of monkeys. So whether I'm spraying out monkey poop or changing my monkey's diapers, you can play wherever, whenever, all for free and right in the comfort of your own home. Even Theo loves it. Theo! You love it! You love it! Theo and I cannot get enough of Huge Casino, and with over 100 online games, there's something for everyone. Whether you like poker, roulette, slot machines, there's literally something for everyone. And did Theo and I forget to mention that this game is free to download for iOS, Android, Amazon, and Facebook? And let me be very clear, this game is for entertainment purposes only, and there's no real money being used. I mean seriously, Theo and I cannot recommend Huge Casino enough. It's fun, it's free, and you can even join a club to play with your friends and compete in the Billionaires League. So if you guys want to check out Huge Casino and the over 100 games that they have, whether you like poker, slots, roulette, guys, they got something for everyone. Well, guys, all you have to do is go right now, click the link in the description, and download Huge Casino today. And now that you guys got to hear all about Huge Casino, well, it is now time to hop into today's Halloween video here at the Redland Conservation Center. So first thing is first, we got to get our pumpkins out. We've got one, two, three. We got five pumpkins back here. And we have more in the back seat of the car. So we got a lot of pumpkins to pass out. We got five back there, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten pumpkins for the animals, so we're gonna have to get these out one by one. For some of the animals, we're gonna be carving the pumpkins, but for the other animals, like the jaguar, if we carve the pumpkin, he's gonna destroy it in about two seconds. So we're gonna leave the pumpkins whole. So let's unload our pumpkins, let's get to carving, and let's fill them up. All right, everyone, we made it into the carnivore room and we are getting ready to carve our Halloween pumpkins for Ollie the Clouded Leopard and Noir the Black Jaguar. Now, what's different about these is we're not gonna be putting a face on them because if we put a face, they're gonna destroy it really quickly. We're just gonna be carving the top up and putting meat inside as a surprise for them. So we're just gonna put our knife in. And again, we're just gonna carve it. If you guys are gonna carve pumpkins at your house, well, guys, make sure you're being safe. And our pumpkin is opened up. So we have all the seeds inside. Now we're gonna be pulling the seeds aside and we're gonna be giving the seeds to our reptiles. If you guys carve pumpkins, pumpkin seeds are actually a natural dewormer for reptiles and other animals. So if you have pumpkins, they're a natural dewormer. They're absolutely delicious. I mean, I really recommend it. So both pumpkins are carved and ready to go. So we have Ollie's pumpkin here and we have Noir's pumpkin. So we left some seeds on the inside, so if they do eat the seeds, it'll be good for them. And now to add our filling. So right here, we've got some fresh pork and some fresh steak. So for all these cats, we're gonna take some of this really thin beef that we got, and we're just gonna kinda line the outside of the pumpkin with it. I think if we just put a couple of these pieces, it's gonna really entice the cats. And this is a fun way to get the cats interested, to get their minds working, because in captivity, enrichment is everything, giving them new sights, sounds, and smells. Well, that is the greatest gift that you can give any wildlife. So we're gonna add some pork chunks in there, and it looks like Ollie's enrichment pumpkin is ready. We've got some delicious beef, and we've got some pork on the inside. And Ollie's pumpkin is ready to go. You can see we got all of our meat. It's nice and filled, so we're gonna set that off to the side, and we're going to bring Noir's up front. And we're basically gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add some meat flap to the outside. 
Now the real question is, are these cats going to like their enrichment pumpkins? If I had to guess, Noir's gonna go insane. Ollie might be a little bit afraid of it. Ollie's a little more cautious than Noir. We've got Noir's ready to go, and again, we're gonna add a couple pork chunks right on the inside. We're probably gonna add about three of those. Give him a little treat on the inside. So, Noir's pumpkin is ready to go. So now that we got these pumpkins ready, well, let's go feed them out. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, everyone, we made it in with Noir, and he is interested in his pumpkin. Now, Noir knows to sit down on his stump while he eats, so he thinks he's going to get fed. He can smell the meat. He wants his pumpkin. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to walk to the other side of the enclosure, and we're going to put it down for him. So stay sitting. So we're going to take our pumpkin right now. Come on, Jaguar boy. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. And he's totally ripped it. He's destroyed it. Now, he's not paying any attention to the meat. You can see he left all the meat right here. All he cares about though is the pumpkin. You can see he absolutely loves the pumpkin and he's just trying to chew it. Now he can taste the meat on the outside of the pumpkin, but he has not eaten it. Now it's really hard with this lighting for him to see it, but look, this is the funniest thing that I think I've ever seen. So right now, Noir is loving his pumpkin. You can see he's using his retractable claws to hold on to it. That's what the jaguars would actually use in the wild to hold on to their prey. And in this case, the prey is a pumpkin. Okay, it looks like Noir is gonna just run around with his pumpkin, so we're gonna head out and leave him to play. Bye! Noir is absolutely loving his pumpkin, and I knew he would, and now we're actually heading in with Ollie, our clouded leopard. So we just moved Ollie a week ago to his new enclosure, and what better way to get him settled in than with some pumpkin enrichment. Hannah, I think he's gonna love it. I'm excited. I'm excited to see his reaction. I know, me too. So right over here is Ollie. This is his big, beautiful exhibit. This is our little Ollie boy, our Ollie man, kitty cat. What's up, boy? Clouded leopards are one of the rarest cats in the world. So to have Ollie here at my center in this big, beautiful habitat, oh, well, guys, I can't wait. Let's see, is he smelling it? Yeah, Ollie he's boy. checking it out. You, you love it? Oh, oh, look, he wants look at him. It. I, he wants he it. He definitely he does. does. So we're going in with our beautiful enrichment pumpkin. Now, Hannah, I'd say just put it right over here on the uh -huh. deck. Come here, Ollie. Yeah. And there he goes. He's going up to his enrichment pumpkin now. I think he is absolutely loving it. So right now, Ollie is munching on the meat. He loves the beef. And you can see he's one of the prettiest cats in the world. So I'm so happy that we're able to do this enrichment for the cats to keep their lives fun and interesting each and every day. And doing these seasonal things like giving them pumpkins, giving them Christmas trees. Well, guys, I have so much fun and so do the cats. So Ollie's best friend is Hannah. So Hannah right now is hanging out with Ollie. And my favorite part about this is getting to see him reach his head in there. And you can see, now clouded leopards are from Indochina and the Himalayas. And here at the Redland Conservation Center, we're soon gonna be partnering up with conservationists in the areas where the clouded leopards are from to help support them and protect them in the wild where they belong. So now that we got to pass out Halloween pumpkins to Noir and Ollie, it's time to head to the feed room and we're gonna make pumpkins for Theo the Capuchin, Rue and Rufus the Lemurs, and Simone the Marmoset. One hour later. So I just made Theo's pumpkin. Now for Theo and Simone, Simone's hanging out behind me. They're gonna be getting mini pumpkins now. I filled it with all kinds of good stuff. Theo! Theo! I have your pumpkin! So we filled it with all kinds of stuff. Let me show you guys right now. We got all kinds of stuff in there. We got fruits, we got vegetables. We got all the good stuff. So let's head in and see how she likes it. Oh my gosh, Theo! Oh my gosh, come here, look! Look, we have a pumpkin for my favorite monkey. Look, Theo, come look. Come look, we have a pumpkin. Do you want to open the pumpkin up? Open it up and see what's inside. Oh my goodness. So you could hear that. Those are Theo's happy noises. So she's going in. She just grabbed a grape. By putting all the food in the pumpkin, Theo is getting to demonstrate her natural foraging behaviors. In the wild, capuchin monkeys are natural foragers for fruit, for vegetables, for protein, but mainly a lot of vegetables. What, do you want to come on my shoulder? Where would you want to go? Look, come. So we have some papaya, we have sweet potato, we have zucchini, we have everything. You like it? Do you like it and love it? Here, get something. Yeah? Yeah, is it nice? Oh my gosh, it's it's yummy and it's delicious. Oh yes, yes, you love the grape? Yes, I, I know you love it, yes. Hi. So now Theo just got her favorite treat out, which is a banana. Theo, do you absolutely love it? Yes, you're a nice monkey. So out of all the animals so far, Theo's definitely has my favorite reaction. I knew the cats were gonna pounce on the pumpkins, but 
Theo is just so happy and to see her so happy, it makes me happy. Theo's foraging through her pumpkin. It is just so fun to watch her go through it. So Theo's hanging out up top and we've got to go now and we've got to pass out more pumpkins. Our lemur pumpkin is ready and this one is definitely my favorite so far. So our lemur pumpkin has banana eyes. We gave him a little toothpick and on the inside it's filled with all kinds of goodies. We've got fruits, vegetables, monkey biscuits. We got the whole thing. We got all the lemurs food in here. So to have them forage in here, well, I can't wait to see it happen. So we've got our pumpkin. So let's head over and let's pass it out. So we're heading in with our lemurs and Rue already jumped up on me. Let's see if Mr. Rufus wants to come. Rufus, come here to your father. So we've got their pumpkin right now. We just completely cleaned their enclosure. So we're gonna put our pumpkin down and now it's time to see their response. We've got Mr. Rufus down below and Miss Rue here. So they're investigating it. They don't know what this is. Now they haven't quite figured out. Oh, and she got one eye. They haven't figured out that all their goodies are there on the inside. But the lemurs, again, lemurs are not monkeys. They're actually in the primate family. Lemurs belong to the group of primates called prosimians, which are the most prehistoric kind of primates. So they're definitely not the smartest, not like Theo, but they are smart in their own way and they're absolutely beautiful. I kind of compare them to strange cats. And you love it, you love your banana. It is so good, so nice, so yummy. Rue's sticking her head in. She's figured it out, but they're gonna have to take turns and share because they both can't stick their head in at the same time. But Rufus, look, I have a carrot. Would you like a carrot, sir? Would you like one? No, okay. They're both sticking their heads in trying to find the fruit and the veggies and the monkey biscuits. I don't wanna bother these two so much, so we're gonna let them enjoy their pumpkin and head out. So last up today is Simone, our marmoset. We're in with her. She's here and she's gonna go insane. So we're gonna bring her pumpkin down here right now, down here on the floor and look at her. So this is our finger monkey, Simone. She was a rescue that was surrendered to us. Now we do spend lots of time with her and it looks like she's starting to scent it. Now, Simone is from South America. Now this is a common marmoset. Now common marmosets are common in the pet trade, but these guys are horrible pets. I never recommend any monkeys big or small as pets. They belong in specialized care. Here you go, let's open it on up. And it, for her, I just left some pumpkin seeds in the string. So she's gonna reach in there and she's gonna investigate. She's gonna smell it. She's gonna lick it. Oh, look at her little fangs, look at her. She wants to eat it. This is so funny to see. Look, look, do you want this? Do you want it? So Simone is a really sweet monkey. So to see her eating this pumpkin, which is a squash, it's actually really healthy for her. You love it. It is very good, very nice. She loves it so much. Look at her eat it. She's crunching, she's munching, and it's safe to say she loves her pumpkin. And that is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, passing out Halloween pumpkins to all of my animal family. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Huge Casino linked down below. And if you guys are not yet subscribed yet to me, well guys, all you have to do is go right now and subscribe below.